Right. So let's have a recap from what happened last week. Uh, three of you has been active and going about. Uh, apparently, Chen Chen was meditating. I think he 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 has he has a certain inspiration, and then he went out of the gates to <coughs> meditate some time. Camille, uh, before dawn, he slipped out and went adventuring to the place that always bugged his his consciousness. The, mm. the, he managed to gain access to the upper grounds of the playhouse. Oh. Wow. Okay, um, we'll talk about that. But then again, okay, the three of you, <clears throat> what happened is, okay, uh, the three of you, which is uh, Shadow, uh, Carl, and also the newcomer by the name of Leona, uh, went investigating and noticed around town there is a, a difference. The sudden movement of the acolytes. Usually they were there preaching, uh, acolyting, <laughs> and bothering people with their sermons. <laughs> uh, but then again, today, on this particular day, they were quiet and they seemed to be going towards the the gates, the, the main gates to Daggerford. And following them, the three... Uh, did some their of their own devices and movements in order to gain some <coughs> intelligence. Okay, for example, Carl managed to influence one of them to do something for him. Okay. Uh this Leona went investigating while these things are happening at the Daggerford Inn, trying to tell someone of interest that she seems to have a familiarity with, but that person apparently slipped out of hmm. the, the inn. Okay. Then also uh Carl. Okay, the Carl da. Shadow. Shadow was uh monitoring the situation developing at the gates. And soon it became apparent when uh, a marching sound came from outside of the gates. Uh, Shadow managed to slip out. The crowd was uh, roaring and trying to make uh, their way out of the gates to see what's going on. And let's see. Just another recap. They saw this. It totaled for about 30 plus uh, nights on foot and about 10 around 10 uh, mounted knights or paladins that seems to have arrived okay at the dagger fort at the outside of the dagger fort gates can any everybody can see the handout yep i do i can okay yeah just, i'm just giving a recap for camille and chen chen okay uh yep, yep, so I see it. all right so it seems to be a quite a significant amount of contingent uh, that has arrived that bears the symbol of the Order of the Esther. Knights of the Esther. Uh, soldiers of Light. Uh, this seems to be the... There were backup that seems to be called by High Priest Boris uh, some time back <coughs> after a certain political movement uh, and disruption in order to maintain the the peace, so to speak, at the Daggerford town, much to Lenovo's dismay and frustration. However, the acolytes uh, seems to be expecting the knights to come in and install martial order. But it didn't happen. The knights just waited outside, uh, saying that they will uh, they hope to meet with Commander Leniva before proceeding or making any movement, and they seem to have set up camp outside. 
this sort of riled up the acolytes in which they uh, after that most of them or some of them went to the temple of Lathander to seek an audience with the high priest himself but unless they were barred from entering by three war priests this is a witness by Leona who tailed them and a confrontation happened and uh, the, the seems to be the red rope acolyte was incapacitated some of them they tried to uh, attack or make their way or try to push their way into the temple and they were repelled back by the three war priests now as things happen uh, shadow was outside and what trying to make in he went through an alternate route through river road and later he broke into lord lenivers quarters from the back side of the barracks he did not find anything of interest and then he made his way back towards the dorm carl was waiting for the dorm at the dorm later to wait for okay he he made a report to lord lenibur who is ready his men for a possible confrontation and later waited at his dorms for his mole to report back to him leona somehow managed to find her way with an interesting broken clay collection in front of the gates towards the duke castle and this is where we left the story last week mm -hmm. um, okay all of you are most the two of you is at the dorms uh one of you at the is at the grand playhouse <laughs> And one of you is outside of the gates, uh, and just have just returned to the dorm uh, <coughs> after his meditation. Will that be okay? Yep, we are scattered. <laughs> All right. Okay, most of you are scattered. Okay, th but then again, this is what Chen Chen found la uh, last week from his meditation. There is a, okay, he, being a nature cleric. There seems to be a something sour. Okay, that's the the feel eh, at Daggerford. The land seems to be souring. That's the only description that uh, his meditation revealed to him. Hmm. Asam manis. Hmm. Hmm. Seems to be souring by the day or by the week. Mm. Need to prepare it, some it, fish. It's sour. Okay. For Camille, uh, you managed to enjoy yourself uh, in the name of uh, research or mingling or fact finding. And you kept seeing, you, you, you notice, yes, this lady that seems to be of note is very much in charge of the the playhouse at least she is the manager there by the name of anna she seems to be Yay. dressed like the, another tap another tavern wench but she seems to be calling the shots where all the bouncers and bodyguards seems to answer at all her um instructions and you also notice there is a one-eared man who went to the upper stairs into one of the rooms. Mm. All right. So, so this is where we are right now. So shall we begin? Okay. Uh, who do you want to go first? All right. <laughs> All right, let's go with the uh, Leona. All right, who is at the gates of the Ducal Castle? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> <coughs> All right. So, 
What do you do? Um, like I said last week, I wait for a response from the people at the gates. So did, I just so I did, stand did there. You, did you call to them? Um, I just stand there for a bit because I know mm -hmm. people behind me are looking at me. Mm -hmm. So I just say, um, I look up and look around me. Is there anyone there? It doesn't seem to be anyone there. Okay. But you know, uh, you okay? Can you roll a perception? Give me a sec. Where's roll a perception check. Sheet? Ooh, this is okay. Percep. This perception. Perception. Okay. Uh, submit. That is a twenty. Ooh. Okay. You do not see any movement or anyone uh, that you can see visibly but there is a nagging feeling that you are being watched uh, besides from the behind or what because I do know there is okay you know there are people at the top of the parapets of the gates mm -hmm. and you do not see anyone but you know you seem to have that nagging feeling Keen eyes are watching you. All right, I with that your spidey senses are tingling. Uh, with that feeling, I knock on the door. Dong, 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 dong. I say, "Hello, the entertainers here, um, to entertain um Lord Boris's uh, companion for the event tonight. I'm told that I should be here. Is there anyone? Hello." Uh, you are UK. You knock on the gates to the Duke's castle, right? Yes. This, right? Yes. Uh, that is a okay. door, right? Not gate, like I mean, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. It, it actually is a. It's a gated apartment. It's a gated <laughs> complex. I press the doorbell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think the place is set a key. <laughs> place is set the key card. <clears throat> All right. Um. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anyone um, answering. Mm, do I find this normal or is there something fishy going on? I think um, there is a sense of guarded caution in the air. And the person behind you are looking. Okay, let me roll something. Okay. Okay. Mm. The three war the three war priests are just watching you, but they don't seem to to hear audibly what you you just said. Mm. And they do not have jurisdiction on this place, right? They seem to be guarding the entrance to the temple. Mm. Okay, so I shall. Uh, let's see if they're not knocking. Hmm, yeah, let's see. They're not... I'm knocking and they're not answering. So that's already suspicious. Because of what... Yeah, that, that's suspicious. I knock again. Dang, dang, dang. Oh, I press the doorbell, which whichever works for this scenario. <laughs> um, Hello? Entertainer here, um, trying to fulfill a contract. Anyone? Let me roll something. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, dead silence. Hmm. No one seems to be answering what you just said. Okay. Um. Is do do I know that this door is magically locked? 
Well, you know, um, it's a sturdy door. It's a sturdy wooden door. It's a sturdy wooden door, but... Uh, okay. I cast the knock smell. As I, cast no as I go knocking, I cast the knock spell. Okay. Can you cast a knock then? Yes. Easy, uh, safe All right. Tung, tung, tung. Oof, nothing happens. God dang it. Hmm. As you cast that, it seems to be a resistance to what you just did. It seems to be... Uh, it sounded suddenly a bit different as soon as you, uh, your spell touched the, the door. Hmm. That's... The knock rolls are uh, saving throw. <laughs> knock rolls. <laughs> <laughs> the knock rolls. Oh, boy. Okay. Save. <laughs> this is a fun part. <laughs> oh, okay, so um, if that's the case... I'll, uh, with with failing this attempt, I'll head back to um, the dorms. Yeah, I'll head back to the dorms. Okay. Um, let's go to Camille. Let's let <coughs> me do something here also. Ah, okay. As okay, as you make your way out. Uh, when you reach here, okay, all this time, when you are making your way out of there, the three war priests are just watching you intently. They seem to, to look at you cautiously, uh, suspiciously. I look at them and then I say, like what you see while doing the V-shape and <laughs> licking my finger. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you made your way here, you notice uh, a person being shoved out of the Grand Playhouse. <laughs> okay. And can you roll a perception then? <laughs> Who, me? Yes, you. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting someone, but I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> 13. Okay. From, even from that distance, you notice the, 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 the casual... Well, the... the not the casual. It, it is a familiar figure of Camille. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out the house. Uh, uh, yeah. By two burly uh, bodyguards. You do not understand. They seems to be interacting with Camille. Mm -hmm. But it seems like Camille is not amused at that interaction. So, Camille. Back to you. Uh, you were discovered to be overstaying your welcome at the the playhouse. You have too much play. <laughs> oh, I had <laughs> too to much top fun. Up, is it? No enough uh, house. <laughs> yeah, not enough house for that. <laughs> your credit is, is spent. <laughs> uh, top up cut. <laughs> and the bill comes to you. Seeing that you seem to be short on fun. Or welcome. You, the, oh my! Yeah, the two of them, uh, <coughs> gently but uh, forcefully, uh, push out you out of the the house, <coughs> and and while they are doing that, they were saying, "Do come again, sir. Uh, you are always welcome, but even well, even <coughs> the welcome mat has limit." <laughs> uh, uh, how much to top up? Uh? Well, maybe some other day. How far am I to Camille? Like, um, like, can I say hello or it's just still far away? It's about a block. Uh, it's a bit far. All right. So I just saw him get thrown out then. Yeah, a bit that. Wait, wait. So this is a playhouse? No, no, no. no, no. This is a playhouse. This, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And I'm seeing him get dropped out here right in front. 
Okay. <laughs> so, Camille, what? When, uh, okay, can, uh, can you roll perception, Camille? Okay. Rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Eh, Afsa tak keluar. Ah, okay. Tu dia. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, <coughs> you, okay. You, okay. Quite high perception. Because as you try to, to ask the guards how much to top up, you notice inside one of the window seal, you saw Anna's face. She seems to be intently looking at the transaction what the, the the attempted transaction outside okay. oh i i wink and give a bardic inspiration <laughs> bardic inspiration toss a coin to the watcher <laughs> uh, uh, you know what I, it's... <laughs> no no comment <laughs> All right. Uh, also, you notice as you <coughs> do a one sweep at looking at that uh, at the road, you notice a familiar lady's face from all the way <coughs> uh, at the other end. It seems like you have met her. Yeah, it, she's the one that that barged into the the dorm <laughs> last time. Uh, it's Leona. And she used to be, she noticed you, noticing, and you notice her also. Ah, hello. What's up? Uh, you're still a bit away. You just wave. Do you wave? Are you asking me or asking me? Uh, I message. Uh, oh. I PM to P. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so okay. you message, all right? I hear this in my head. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I reply back and say, uh, having fun? Mm-hmm. So, what did you hear? What did you gather? And, well, um, with this going on, uh, I'm just going to go pass by him and walk through High Road and giving the hint that he should follow. Ooh, of course I follow. It seems to be a sound like, like people... As you walk past there, uh, there's, there are sounds and songs coming out of the Grand Playhouse by the tune of I will follow you, <laughs> follow you wherever you may be. Ah, something like that. <laughs> it, it's quite faint, but then again, now you are along High Road. Mm -hmm. You need to check for Yellow Man. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Or so, nuns. Uh, or nuns. Like either Yellow Man's or nuns. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So had fun. And what did he reply? I forgot. I replied with that. Mm -hmm. mm, all right. So you've been there for a while. Um, anything interesting happen? Mm, I think I saw the one year guy. I see. Notice anything else? <laughs> I think he went upstairs, but it's off limits. I see. All right. Because I have a feeling that we may need to talk to him. Well, at least I do. Because things are kind of hairy with him and Felix right now. Like, he's here and Felix is not. Oh, yeah. Mm, true. Well, he's inside. We either wait for him or we go in. Nah, uh, like the Anna, the mistress of the place, knows me. And I don't think she likes me that much. Not, I'm not sure about you, though. 
Mm, I hope it's the reverse. Oh, hope so. But for now, let's group up with everyone because the commotion up front is a bit hectic and we need to find a plan. And yeah, like we, we need to get info what's going on because right now we need to know what you've been doing and also with the rest of the guys. All right, let's go. And with that, we head to the door. <clears throat> so you make your way to the dorm. Um, as you, it took about fifteen minutes walk about that distance back to the dorm. There seems to be quite a commotion. Uh, all all around when you have that, it's like people are talking excitedly about the the army outside of the gates. The there seems to be rumors about. Uh, curfew that may have imposed will be imposed about the movement of the constabulary and the guards uh, near the barracks. Uh, there seems to be talks that Commander Lenniver is meeting the the army outside alone. Uh, that's what you can can hear from all the talks of the the masses around that. Okay, that's. 15 minutes. Now, within that time, um, Chen Chen ha- is back at the dorm with Carl. And Carl was waiting for someone. And not about five minutes of waiting, lo and behold, a, f- a red robed acolyte seems to be going there. Mm-hmm. And Matt. Carl. Carl, are you there? Yep. All yep. right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the the appearance of the acolyte is it, 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 a bit something that you, you notice uh, easily without even a perception check. Uh, seems to be bleeding from one ear and one of his nostrils is is also bleeding. Mm. Seems, but then he, he seems to be in a daze. But somehow he he came and see you. Ah, such a nice guy. Yeah, he seems to be all, almost toppling down. Like uh, <laughs> <coughs> blessings of Latenda be upon you, my friend. Uh, oh, the letter. Uh, can you speak louder? Uh, I cannot hear from this ear. <laughs> the letter. <laughs> okay. Luckily, there's only two of you inside the dorm because all the other guards are being mobilized. <laughs> you scream. And can you roll a perception, Carl? All right. Let's do a perception check. As you shouted last time, the, <laughs> the second time. <laughs> no, no, I said, I said letter. The letter. <laughs> Not the letter. <laughs> the letter. <laughs> The letter or letter? The letter. <laughs> no, no. letter. <laughs> to be honest, it's the same effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he cannot hear you that well, so <laughs> lots of confusion. And then he, he says, Yeah, 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 letter. <laughs> what? You say letter or letter? <laughs> Can you roll a perception, Carl? <laughs> okay. Even with that perception, you notice. Um, Chen Chen's face darkening as you, as either you <laughs> trying to explain that you are talking, saying Latin and not Latender, even the mention of name Latender cloud makes uh, Chen Chen's face clouded <laughs> with about <what>, irritation. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I do a sign like, yeah, I'll tell you later on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yes, blessings to Latender, uh, uh, the acolyte says. <laughs> And I put I put up my gesture on my hand, you know, like I want wanting him to pass me something. Ah, huh? pass you what? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I open my palm. Uh-huh. Put the palm and no gesture to him to pass me something. What you want money? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he 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 is a bit confused. Uh, for some reason, he, you do not know why he is bloodied and bruised and. and... <laughs> Where where are we by the way? Are we close enough to see this interaction? 
Uh, no. <laughs> Just sit on the high road. <laughs> it seems to be a bit dazed <laughs> for some reason. It seems like confused. <laughs> why? 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 <coughs> the letter. <laughs> yes, left sender. <laughs> letter. <laughs> What letter? I forgot. Oh God! <laughs> you should not forget. No, he he is seriously this. So you should not forget this part of the spell. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to really remember what is he supposed to be doing. I tried to reinforce the spell on his head. <laughs> okay, okay, you you reinforce the spell. Okay, what was you? What were you trying to tell him last time? Uh, he he's supposed to write a letter. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, he was supposed to receive an order from uh for for some for their actions, yes. and then and then I told him to write down the contents of the order into in a letter and then pass okay. it to me, pass it to the dorm. <laughs> okay, uh, he seems to be almost toppling over as you reinforce back the spell about that. It seems to be like uh, <laughs> uh, he, before this he needs a he he needs a Panadol. Mm-hmm. Now he seems to be having a migraine. Ah, <laughs> cure wounds. <laughs> But I, I, I give you okay. a cure wound. <laughs> yeah, he slipped to you uh, uh, a simple parchment that has an instruction. Hmm. So, okay. Yep. Yeah. And this is some. It is it is simple, but it is not what you expect. It is to a simple instruction to rile up the crowds. Mm. Did they write where? Rile, rile up, up the crowds. Rile up the crowds. Cause havoc and let oh. loose the dogs of war. Mm. That doesn't and, sound nice. And it yeah, and it is signed Joffrey. Joffrey, King Joffrey. But I thought it was dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. Ah, uh, uh, my head, my head. And by now he is bleeding from the other ear. Oh no! That's I not... was knocked down okay. earlier. I was thunderstruck. But he could get up and. <laughs> He was knocked down and he could get up again, right? The power of my control. Uh, okay, give, give me a second. I, I will try and heal him with my celestial healing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh, six. Six. Okay. Uh, that sucks. <laughs> the, well, somehow the bleeding stopped a bit and he seems to be a bit dazed. And all this time, well, he he seems to be trying to Almost dozing, doze off, but he managed to send the the parchment to you, and he dozed off. Mm. Okay. Uh, and you, what are you going to do? You and Chen Chen. Hey Chen Chen, come come over here. Okay, grab grab a blanket for me, will you? <coughs> okay. What happened to this guy? Uh, he's a guy that I. Charmed into giving us information. All right, so, and why is he bloody? I have no idea, but you know what? Let's we have something urgent. So can you? Oh, are you? Is Chen Chen strong? Is Chen Chen what? Strong. Is Chen Chen strong? I mean, I mean, like performance wise or <laughs> strength, strength wise. <laughs> performance wise. Mm. Strength wise. Are you strong, Chen Chen? I, mean... I don't think so. Sorry. I don't think so. No, not not that strong. Mm, okay, you you know what? Uh, let's strip his clothes. Uh, <laughs> put him onto some of the prison the guard ropes, oh and then my. let's carry him off to the drill field to see Commander Lanima. Oh what do you say? <laughs> Tell us we come in now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Because as you are disrobing this this person, <laughs> uh. Y- Before you even manage to uh, put the guard ropes on him or whatever, you just manage to disrobe uh, this person. Um, As you are in almost a compromising position, 
Camille and Leona walked in. And uh, that's what I told him. He uh, shouldn't be. This is, okay, this is, let's leave this him is, some space. This is not what, what you think. Hey, guys, baby, 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 um, come on, come on. It's okay, this is not what I understand. You... Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I dig the guys too, and the women's. So, uh, you do you, and uh, we can come back later. Isn't that right, Camille? No, 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 no. This, this, this is something important. Look, here, here, here. Look at this letter. Um, I pick up the letter without looking at him. <laughs> yeah. okay. Attention. Oh, continue. Let's, let's, let's oh, change co- oh, it. Continue. Okay. Oh, continue. Oh, no. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, then, then I, explain, I explain to the guys what happens. Like, you know, uh, I basically charm, charm this person into becoming, to giving us information so that they are currently going to cause havoc and attack in parts of the town. So we need to be informing Commander Laniva. And yeah, my plan here is to bring this guy to Commander Laniva. Mm-hmm. You know, just to verify the situation. And we need to start patrolling a city. You know, I, to I, stop, I read the stop letter. Them from doing this. I, I read the letter and I hear what you have to say. And I just say, so the letter's proof already. Why do you need to... Strip the guy and drag him to the guy in charge. He's just, just into it. Just in case we, we need to extract more information from him. You know, you never know, right? Uh, I guess. I mean, stripping him down. I mean, couldn't you just put him in a burlap sack and dress, drag him along? Just in case, okay? Don't, don't, don't complain. Just hurry up. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's just give him just give him some, some underwear or something. You know, just... I fold the letter, put it in my bag, and... Um, whatever you guys want to do to get yourself off, you just do. I'm going to hit to Lenevir first and, and just tell him what to expect. And oh, no, 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 no. Like, See I, you I, later. I, 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 drag, I drag her back and then take, take out the letter from her back. No. Pass it to You don't. Ah, okay. Yeah. As you were doing this, okay, two minutes have passed since your your you... Leona and Camille found Carl and Chen Chen with the guard uh, with the acolyte in a very compromising position. Two minutes have passed, and a guard just walked into the the room. So this is when because I was reading the letter. Letter. Now this is uh, a guard that seems to be whoa. What is going on? I what? I mouth to oh, the guard oh, and say, no, "Help me." Long story, private. Help us dress dress this 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 guy up, so that we can interrogate him at Commander Lenin's place. I will do no such thing. I will not put my hands on that. What are you doing? <laughs> I, <laughs> as this happens, while having the letter oh. in my bag, okay, I'll uh-huh. hug the guard and tell him, "Oh, I'm glad you're here. This men, they they were trying to do something weird. Please take me to safety." Whoa, 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 whoa! I don't want to be called as a. <laughs> Somebody that, that wants to take advantage of that. Why are you why are you molesting me? Oh, please do help I, me. I'm just here to I'm... deliver this message oh? to the Night Hunters. Well, that's them. Oh, oh, that's good. We are the Night Hunters. Except for her. Oh. <laughs> okay, whatever. <clears throat> well, oh, seems to fit uh, the description. Where's the other one that seems to be missing another person? Oh, who? Which one? <laughs> Oh, you're talking about uh, him. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying that the the, the night hunters are five people. He's trying to fight for peace. Well, uh, well, he isn't here right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You, you guys are, are, are freaking me out. Here, here. Here's a letter from Lord Lanever himself. Mm. All right. Oh, okay. Let's let's take a look at it. All right. Uh, with that, with that, I snatched, I snatched the the letter. Okay. Shoot. Yeah. Whoa. So rude, snatching people. <laughs> and then the guy just took his leave and out the door. So he went. before he leaves, I like to try and uh, see what I can grab out of him. Slide your hand, please. I knew it. <laughs> I can expect that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How come so high, you know? <laughs> because my character's a bitch. How come you get six? How come you have six? How come you have plus six, man? Is that six? You found five silver piece. Nice. Thank you. How come you have plus six to the mod? Uh, 
Yeah, wait. How 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 come you have plastics? Don't ask. Yeah, explain. Is it expertise? Yes. <coughs> it is the wrong. It's the wrong place to put expertise. Oh, you you don't know my class. Well, unless you look at the video, but that's another story. Uh, I think expertise is uh, you put the you double your proficiency, so it's actually the first number that gets double. Uh, so no, it's three a plus four, uh, then a plus two. Let's just say that my character has been okayed by DGM. <laughs> There's a lot of oh, plus six. That's a lot. It's okay. So, anywho, what does the letter say? Okay. Finally, got, got around reading the letter after arguing. How can you be so powerful <laughs> filtering, uh, fil- filching people's pockets? Oh, I haven't okay. done anything yet. <clears throat> letter says, uh, if I do a voiceover of a letter, Midnight Hunters, you are needed to the marketplace at the gates. Uh, meet me there. We have urgent news and I have need of your assistance. Can I take a look see at the letter and see if it's um forged or not? Like is is it him or is it forged? Uh, roll investigation, please. Investigation. Okay. <laughs> Seventeen. Wow, Chen Chen has good performance. Yes. He did the samba, he did the cha-cha <laughs> and the tango while you are looking at the letter intently. <laughs> it, bo- it bears this. <laughs> well, he, he, he just didn't do the... The, the marimba. <laughs> marimba. <laughs> All right. So it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a forgery then? No, it, is, it bears uh, uh, the seal <coughs> of uh, Lanivo himself. Mm, okay. All right, all right. And it looks it looks really fresh, as if it just um, is a newly written letter. Mm, okay, let's let's go to the town and uh, no, let's leave this guy outside the oh, barracks. Wait, wait, wait. Um, so uh, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's leave him half naked outside the barracks. I'm sure that's going to end well. Um, it's in the middle of winter. Oh yeah, it's winter. Is it winter? <laughs> yep. Yes, it is. Winter has has arrived. <clears throat> mm, you know, you know what? Uh, let's rope him back and put him somewhere safe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, you're the boss. <laughs> Oh my god. Anything 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 freaky dicky is gonna cost you extra. You know, you know, play play to play knowledge, huh? Mm-hmm. I I really, I really want to want, want just leave the guy there because he's we are probably gonna fight him. <laughs> I mean like I mean it's up to you, man. Like uh if you if you want to leave the guy there, uh we can execute him or whatnot. I mean it's up to you. Yeah, that's just that's just, that's just uh, you know dress him back and just put him somewhere. <laughs> Why did you slit his throat? Then it's done with. Because yeah. it's wow, wow, says the cleric. <laughs> yeah, just put, just put his robe back and just tr- put him somewhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah, just put him somewhere. Uh, somewhere along the alley, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. This, this cleric seems to have a hatred for Lathander. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's my god. It's not my god, so it's not, not my problem. <laughs> I never put my game. I'm sure problem of it. It's your problem right now. <laughs> yeah, we got, we, he, he, they're going to cause Haymok. We don't have time to do for this, you know? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I, I just sit back with Camille and we just take a look see at the adventures that's going on. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what are you going to do? Dress him. Let's let's let's, let's wear his robe again. Let's put put him somewhere in the alley. I guess. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Can he's <laughs> gonna compromise us more because he will remember us. Not really. He 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 was pretty badly banged up, and he was under the effect of my spell. So I don't think he remember remember much. 
Okej okay, den. It's your call. I think I blame you. <laughs> okay, so Carl is going to attempt to put back whatever clothing that was <laughs> undone. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Alright. I'm gonna have you roll sleight of hand. I mean, oh. Kazuma is pretty good with sleight of hand. Alright. His hand, his hand is one of the best. Uh, I need to wait for it to load. It's loading quite slow. <coughs> Slide of hand, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. But if you're quite good, it has to be a plus six or higher. Yep. See, it's pretty good. Fifteen. Yep. It's not that. It's not okay. Bad. Uh, you you managed to convincingly put back all the the clothing that you have taken off. Mm-hmm. Uh, before, 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 before that, let's take out some some beer and then put it around his body. What? Yeah, <laughs> what? You are in a dorm of a barrack. Yeah, there's no beer around, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but but it's, it's a god. They they should drink beer, right? No. Ale. More ale. Ale. Ale, ale is good as yeah. well. Yeah. Any alcohol? Just put it on his body. <laughs> Maybe you can pee on him. Smells like you know. <laughs> Day. <laughs> I look at Camille and just raises an eyebrow like what the fuck kind of party member do you have? Like fuck. Mm, I get it, I get it. <laughs> Hurry up and he, be done with it. You 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 dress him up, you you seem to be trying to drown him in alcohol. <laughs> not just drown not drown, just like pour pour alcohol. No around. no, yeah, because you, you are pouring and then uh, somebody wants to pour ale. Somebody wants to pour beer. And then I think you, you, the, it looks like you are trying to drown him in, in whatever beverage and alcohol that's available in the, the storage of the dorms. So okay, he is drenched in, in whatever alcohol that's available. I think he almost uh, easily being light up as a Molotov cocktail. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Uh. Yeah, he has the rope as the <laughs> the wick. I no one can smell. He he smells pretty rank. Hey right. hey guys, let's let's head to the marketplace now. Let's just leave him, leave him here. Let's go. Where inside the barracks? In the okay. barracks? Maybe we just put him behind, like make sure nobody's around, and just toss him outside. <laughs> we could do that, but it, it will it will look more convincing if he's in the barracks. He he's drunk and then he came to the barracks, right, to uh, cause trouble. Um, not really, I guess. Unless it's like he dropped out outside of the barracks. Yeah, let's let's just toss him outside the barracks. C- Camille, let's head out. Let's just let's just, let's <laughs> let's go out first. Okay, <laughs> okay, Camille and Leona <laughs> incredulously made their way out of on the doorway. Before any of this transpired. <clears throat> okay. So Carl and, and Chen Chen, you are tossing him out? Yes. Yeah, I just put it outside outside the barracks. Uh. Okay. So that he looks like he's he's drunk and just pass out. In the middle All of right. winter. <laughs> okay. Uh Carl, can you roll me a strength check? <sighs> oh, give me a second. <laughs> God damn it. It's gonna be funny. Chen Chen, Chen Chen, you're helping me, right? So I get advantage. Okay. Alright. Yep. Yeah. But who has the highest strength? <laughs> Chen Chen, you have higher strength or do I have a higher strength? <laughs> I think you have higher strength than me. I, I, have, I have plus zero. <laughs> I have negative two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let, me do this. let me do a strength check. It's going to be funny. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, oh. No, no, no. That's a save. Oh. That's not the strength oh. check. Oh, that's not a strength check? No, no, that's a strength save. <laughs> how, how do we do a strength check? Uh, click on the strength. Mm-hmm. I, I, I click on the strength. <coughs> no, uh, that was strength saving throw. The, the, yeah. The, it's a bit left to that. Uh, uh, oh, this one. A, okay, okay. Yeah, ahead. just click on the word strength. Uh, oh, I'll uh, 20, sir. Yeah, that, that works. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Usually, you don't feel <laughs> as... as uh, <laughs> As this, uh, but then again, it, it seems like the the power of Sylvanas seems to aid you. Cool. You, <laughs> <laughs> you you just tossed him out unceremoniously. 
he just toppled over uh, face in the dirt. Good, good, good. Uh, no, no, no. Bontot ke atas. <laughs> no, no, he no, seems no. to be like a drunkard that just fell face first into the dirt. I mean, okay, sure. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, guys. Okay. And Let go. he is there. Yeah. He's yes. breathing, smelling like this. You just probably hope some uh, no one uh, has a lit torch near him. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I, it's, it's fine. I heal. I heal him already. He's no, 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 no. He, he HP max doesn't really matter. Uh, burning to death—that's something else. Oh, let's <laughs> head to the bucket place, guys. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, <coughs> the four of you head to the marketplace. By the so way, you... has anybody seen Shadow? No. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh well, marketplace then. Okay, so you are running, right? Uh, did the the Nivia say that they wanted us ASAP? The the guard seems to be rushing, and when you notice him coming over, it's like it seems like he's running. Okay. Um. Uh, I I leave it to Carl to decide. Go, run. 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 Let go. So you are making your way uh <coughs> quickly. Mm-hmm. Okay. At haste. Post haste to... Uh. When the when the guys are running, I'll be ten feet behind. Constantly. Okay. All right. So you are there. You are a bit lagging behind, and mm-hmm. uh, cautiously tailing them. Mm-hmm. Something like that. All right. Usually it took you about twenty minutes. So this is this uh cuts about five more minutes because you are <coughs> not running or rushing, but hastily making your way uh as at a jog mm-hmm. towards uh the marketplace area. So in. About in about fifteen minutes, you are there already. Okay, <laughs> you are there, and you notice a contingent of the the city guards forming in front of the gate <coughs> with Lanivar at the the front of the column, meeting somebody that looks to be. Um, Quite imposing, that's the word. Mm. Okay. He seems to be fully armored. Doesn't seem to to show his face, but Lenever seems to be nodding to him, and you notice that they are in deep conversation. Okay. So, what do you do? I shout out, Lenny Bo! Lenny Bo! Then I read, 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 I switch <laughs> to my current position. <laughs> okay. I put my hood up and then I just wait in the back. Alright. So, Lenny Bo uh, notices the party approaching. Not me. Alright. Three of them. Three of the party approaching and motion to for the party to come closer. Oh, I, I, Raju is standing there. Anyway, yeah. Uh, Zeke, yes. Uh. What do you pass to him? The, the letter. The, uh. Uh, the, the one the one that from the government informer. Okay, because there's two letters. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to... You yeah. want to give him back his letter? <laughs> oh, the one from the informer. Okay. The informer. Lenova sort of re- Do not be rude. Introduce yourself to the marshal. Oh. Oh. This is Marshal Jonathan. Jonathan, my name is Carl Zuma. We are, and this is my friends. I point to Camille and Chen Chen. And I, I think I saw that our friend Leona is not here, right? Leona is not, not beside us. No. Uh, Leona, are you with them? Um, at the moment when he 
ran screaming at Lanivir, I just what pulled out my hood and just stay like 20 or 30 feet away. Yeah, Lanivir, Lanivir. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I mingle with the crowd. Yeah. Okay. Because Lanivir know, know, knows that I'm going to get that letter, so he probably knows what's happening. Yeah. And so, are you? Do you introduce Leona? So Leona is mingling with the crowd, not well, joining. I can't see her, so I will just introduce Camille and. Uh, you are looking for her, right? Can you roll a perception? Then? Uh, yeah. Oh man, it's taking a long time to look. Survival. Survival. <laughs> Camille Cruz survivor. <laughs> why, why are you trying to survive? <laughs> the humiliation. <laughs> One. One. I don't think I need you... to roll. You, you will look you <laughs> itch mouse. <laughs> okay, anyway, you cannot you fail to notice Leona at all. So let him, uh, um, <coughs> sort of, um, signal to you. So, three of you? Well, yeah, three of us. Very well. This is Lord Marshal Jonathan. Jonathan, good to meet you. We are part of the Midnight Council, assisting Lord Lenimer. Lord Lenimer seems to be, to just. Uh, look at it. Johnson, please excuse these people. They are rough on the edges, but they are useful in helping. So, this is who you see. Marshall, Jonathan, and Anto Antonius? That's how you say? Yes, Antonius. Uh, well here. met. He reminds me of another person that dressed almost similar to this and never opens his helmet. <laughs> well met. So these are the the person that you have said assisted to you before, Laniva. Laniva says, "Hi." These are the hired help. So, Lenovo just mentioned, uh, so talk to the three of you. So, but Leona is quite near to here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping a close uh, ear on the situation. All right, Lenovo says. So, this is Lord Marshal Jonathan. He is the head of the, the knights outside. They are called by the high priest to instill martial order here. Seems he has been saying that I have failed to maintain that. Fortunately, the marshal and I went way back. And he is someone that I trust with my life. <laughs> Isn't it right, Jonathan? <clears throat> Jonathan seems Marshal Jonathan seems to just nod but silent. Then he, he start reading the, the note. Okay, what do I see here? He well, the note. Yeah. So the note that you confiscated from the acolyte, right? Mm -hmm. Not confiscated. We took, he gave me, right? Yeah, he, yeah. he gave yeah. to you, but um, either or uh, what's in the letter? Okay. So, write that. I expected some thing like this from these acolytes, these troublemakers. What do you make of this, Jonathan? Yeah, and he passed that note or letter to mar the marshal. He took it and then said, hmm. This is not in order. The church that should not be mingling in this kind of activities. I leave it to you, Lenever. 
Do as you wish. If you need anything, I will be outside with my men. I will be ready in case I'm needed. Either way. Well met. Maybe we can talk in more better times. Maybe at the inn. He mentioned to the Daggerford Inn. <laughs> so Lenny says, I let's do that and catch up. Be safe. And with that, the marshal um, just nodded and went out. When I see the marshal, right, uh, do I know any of his uh, history, like from my time with <laughs> Felix and the other crews? Can you roll me? Okay, yeah. History? Do I make you roll. History, would that work? Yep, history. Alright, let's see if Good Leona luck. let's see if Leona pays attention or not. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Maybe a bit, I don't know. Maybe a bit. Sounds like Seem, a bit. Yeah, it seems to be like uh, there is something familiar, but then again you it, it rem- she, the the marshal reminds you of your, your friend. In a way. <laughs> Yeah, that's but, about it. Nothing more than that. Yeah, yeah. In a way that not taking off mask. <laughs> it did. Or you remember also a Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah. This is the this way. Is the way. <laughs> and with that, um, nothing perception, uh, nothing, nothing uh, of note uh, was being gleaned. All right. Mm-hmm. And let me go <coughs> to you. Yes. This is good intel. Fortunately, my friend there, well, we were in the army together once. He he also mentioned about something that doesn't seem to be right with the orders that he received and the call to assist. I need your assistance to take some of my men to get into the bottom of things. This is a very disturbing note. It borders on treason. Will you take up this charge? He asked Carl. Carl? Very well, sir. Very well, then. We will help you in your endeavor. From what is being written, it seems like big trouble seems to be brewing. <clears throat> and one more thing. The red robes seems to have scattered all around the city. And most of them are converging at, at the poor areas. I mean, at the commoners' quarters. He seems to be trying to okay, uh, say it in a political way. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do we notice that? I, I, I didn't really notice that. Me either. Me either. I didn't notice that as well. Yep. From what I remember, the last time uh, they were gathering at the jewelry shop in front of the... Uh, in front of High Road, but that's about it. Yeah, are they are they trying to run up the, the crowd? I'm not sure. Are they, to, are they trying to inside the crowd? Probably, maybe. So I said to Lanivella. Mm-hmm. Good. <clears throat> if you can assist on this, I will make sure that you will be rewarded for your services <coughs> well. Can I mm. count on you to have this? At least I have somebody the reinforcement is for the city is outside. At least I can stabilize the situation on my end. Well, very well. What what did you need us to do? I have reports of disturbance that's brewing near the Cross Alley and Water Street. 
Okay. Would you like us to arrest the troublemakers or proceed with caution? Will you do that? Well, all right. Fine. Good. <clears throat> I need to mobilize my men because it seems to be if the note that you you shown me, it seems like there might be trouble wherever the acolyte seems to be converging. Okay. All right. All right. So where, where shall we meet your men? Wait near the doms. Your doms is the right beside near Cos Alley, right? <laughs> yes. That's the, one of the report of concern, the places of concern where if I recall correctly, from your past report, they seem to be inciting the poor to go against you and me. I would see to it that that area is patrolled and secured from these red ropes. I have to de I have to declare them to be treasonous, but that will that will directly be displeasing to Boris, though. So on your way. Is that all? So anything that else that you need? Well, with this, uh, after hearing all of this, I'll just head to the dorms first. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. We shall move on. But just, just to just clarify, things get messy. Do we have permission to act? You have permission to use any force <coughs> needed, necessary to instill orders. Very well. Thank you, Commander. We will be waiting at the door. Very well. Be safe. These are troubling times. And I guess we hit hit the dorm. Yeah. All right. Come here, come here, Pinchet. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Right. I'm cool. Now you are not rushing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Leona, you are ten feet behind. No, uh, I would first. be ten feet of, uh, ahead right now, or thirty feet ahead. Yes. Yes. Now you are ten feet. So. Uh, let's see. I'll. From my point, I'll hit to the shanties again. To buy some supplies. Alright. Uh, <coughs> where? Shanties, like here. Oh yeah, the shanties, okay. Right. <clears throat> to buy some supplies. Okay, what supplies are you get, getting? Uh, maybe some uh, flask of oil or something like that. Okay. So, <clears throat> I head in. And do I get bumped by some uh, by some kid again or whatever it is? <coughs> nope. Plus of oil, okay. Alright, so I hit in and I greet the uh what you call this um uh owner. Okay. Hello, um the <laughs> it's me again. Uh, how are you doing? Well business is not so good. Um you're Clex, right? The Chantis no. Lex is as next door. Ah, my bad. Sorry, uh, I'm still I'm still new in town. Um, I was wondering, do you have any flask of oil? <laughs> Wrong shop. Oh, you should be going to next door where the weapon forge is. Oh, um, I I thought flask of oil would be something that everybody would use. I'm using oil for my own home, <laughs> not for you, not for sale. All right, okay, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, have a good day, and I'll go to the next store then. <laughs> okay, and you manage to see the the sign outside of that. It's a Klex weapon, Olex weapon forge. Ah. So I hid in. Right. Okay. I, I've been here before, yeah, right? Yeah. Yes, you are yeah. there, and I don't know why you went to the shanties, which is next door. <laughs> oh, the, I didn't see the sign. Oh, <laughs> again, okay. Hey, I, okay. I hit hey. in. Yeah, what do you need? Hey, uh, it's me again. Um, I was wondering, do you sell any uh, flask of oil? Yeah, we do implements of mass destruction. 
<laughs> yes, my kind of shop. I like to have ten plus, please. Right, uh, ten. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only have five. Five. Oh, yeah, can... about that. Ten. It's okay. Five. Five can work. Mm. I'll take the five. And um, you know those Keltros were pretty nice. Um, do you have three more? Keltros. Yes. What are you trying to wage a war or something? Nah, just to be safe. You know, the town right now is really in a precarious spot. So, I, a lady like me would really love to protect herself. Okay. Uh, how many? How much more do you need? Uh, three more, please. Okay. Alright, so that will be three uh, Keltrops and five flasks of oil. Yes. Thank you very much. Correct? Yes. Okay, so that will be about one... Uh, well, since you are quite a regular and quite a mass <laughs> buyer, I'll give you a good price for this. Oh? How about one gold? That can work. Thank you. All right. Great. Anything okay. else that you need? Mm, um, do you have kind of a dirt... Well, a new blanket or a new shirt, anything like that? Well, I think that's a different kind of shop. I, I don't have those kind of implements in my shop for oh. spare, for uh, sale. Ah, okay. I was hoping that you have anything that you don't really use and want to discard. Nah, fortunately. Well, I do. Well, that's that thing. But, ah. Hmm? What's that? Now I I sold something to someone. Well, actually, I issued that. I haven't seen that person for some time now. Oh, um, are we talking about a paladin? Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm guessing we're talking about the same person then. Well, yeah. <laughs> He doesn't come by anymore. Yeah. Mm. It feels like he's on a mission to spread peace across uh, Fendelin. Well, all the best to him. Mm. Feels like he's some kind of, of he's in some kind of suicide mission. <clears throat> That's suicide not so squad. good. <laughs> yeah. That's not so good. But still, I'm sure he'll do fine. He he's been through worse. Yeah, sure, sure. Anyway, but have anyway. a good day then. Uh, Anything else? Uh, that's about it. Anyway, thank you very much. And with that, I head back to the dorm. All right. As you head back, you are now a bit behind the, the other three. Mm -hmm. Do I see them? Yes, you do. Um, because they are heading towards the, the dorms or the horseway. All right. I'll put up my uh, hood. <laughs> All right. And I follow them from behind. <laughs> follow them from behind. Okay, Carl. By now you, okay, let's just say you, the three of you are making your way uh, towards the dorm. Right? Uh, yep. Can all four of you roll perception? Okay, give me a second. Perception. Ooh. Perception, perception. As he was, uh, well, Chen Chen was really distracted by the sour taste, sour, taste sour feeling. Yeah. yeah, sour feeling. Call. Oh, <laughs> perception sucks, man. <laughs> You were not perceptive at all. You were, you seem very distracted. Don't know for some reason. As if something seems to be nagging you in your mind. Oh no, is it Mizu-sama? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. wish. But, but Leona, even about 10 feet behind the three of you, can hear some sort of commotion and some smoke emanating around this area. <laughs> 
<laughs> even uh, from the... I can't, I can't, I can't see. It's not showing up. <clears throat> nope. Okay. No, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> loud shouting and loud voices or some commotion must be in there. As you get closer and closer to the dorms. Okay. So is, it, is it here? Wait, let me see in this place. I can't see it. No. Yeah, about that. Okay. Okay. So, heading towards that, and then, okay, when you are near the course, the intersection of Horseway and Cross Alley, you can see about five soldiers, five guards, rushing, uh, running, running from this direction and running straight towards Cross Alley. Okay. Okay. Um, do I see a burning person? Um, <laughs> no, you do not see a burning person. Alright, so what's on do fire? You smell a burning person? <laughs> okay, what, what are you going to do? So, like, first things first, I just want to see what's on fire then. Seems to be like uh, several smokestacks are coming from... Okay, you have not seen through, uh, around the corner yet, but from atop of the the town building, you seem to notice there are black smoke. Black smoke. And, and you can sense, uh, you can hear raised voices shouting. Mm, okay. Mm, I will send my drone to scout ahead. Alright. You send your drone to scout ahead around the corner, <coughs> this corner, and... This is what you see. Mm -hmm. It seems to be quite a, a crowd that is throwing uh, flasks of oil, uh, torches, <coughs> and makeshift weapons, stones, <coughs> towards the guards. <coughs> the guard seems to be telling them to back off Disperse. And this uh, angry crowds that you can see, the, the drones uh, relay that to you. This is an angry crowd that's gathering by the minute. Okay, I relay this to, to the guys. So guys, there's an angry crowd ahead. Yeah, no? They're throwing Molotov cocktails at, at the guards. <laughs> and among the crowds, you can see uh, some of the red ropes or white, uh, but with red acolyte. Um, insignia that seems to be riling up the crowds with their rhetorics. Mm, and all of this is happening around here? Yes. Okay. Uh, is there any way to get off on the roof? The Well, as you can remember, the roof is well, it's climbable, but you need to do uh, lots of skills to, to climb them. Okay, so let's try. Um, I'll head to um, one of the back roads so that I won't be spotted and try to climb up. I fall. Uh... Two of you will be trying to be snipers, huh? Kind of, yeah. Alright. So, so, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, uh, we head to one of the uh, areas here, uh, dashing through and trying to get up to the roof. Alright. So the two of you will attempt to climb the roof, climb yes. onto the roof, uh -huh. to the rooftops. Okay. Yes. What about the two of you, and Chen and Carl? Oh God, I'm not sure. I think we're just gonna follow behind the guards and see, like, maybe I can help out or something. Okay. Anybody get hurt or heal or something. Alright. Yeah, so that's I... the, the game plan, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna do the same. I'm gonna need to ask the guards what's happening. Okay. So there will be those things. Okay. Roll, isn't it? Go initiative. 
Alright. <laughs> okay. No, first the two of you can you roll agility? I'm acrobatics. Acrobatics. Huh? Alright. Give a second. No, oh. because they are trying to climb. The oh. the, the climbing. Thirteen, fourteen. Well, we are not yeah. timers. Ooh, okay. We struggle a bit. Oh. Okay, you you pass. <coughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, Leona, you did not pass. Help! <laughs> no. Help luckily, her. luckily, you are very deaf enough to prevent any injury. But Camille, you managed to go onto one of the roof. Mm. Okay, so yeah. Um, okay. That sucks on my end. Um, is the dorm connected to this? Uh, connected to which one? Which part? This here, the one I'm clicking. Uh, it seems you can jump from rooftop to rooftop. Okay, but if I were to go in and go through the roof. From inside the dorms, is that it possible? No, because uh, the roof is not accessible from inside the dorm. Okay, so mm. <clears throat> as you are strategizing uh, all this, you can hear the voices seems to be growing angrier and angrier okay. and more numerous. As time uh, goes by. Let's see. Uh, do I have a rope? I should have a rope. Do I have? That is odd. I do not have a rope. I call on to uh, Camila and say, throw me a rope. Let me up. A rope? Let me check. <laughs> so that you don't have... Then like, wait, what? why don't I have rope? <laughs> I don't have. Here's my hand. <laughs> Let me help you. Okay, I, I'll try and grab it up and see if I can get up. Can I? Can you roll another acrobatics check again? With advantage? Leona? Same result. Unfortunately, nah, I cannot. <laughs> uh, even with advantage. Ah, phew. Never mind. Um, I'll find some other way in. You you, you just keep an, eye on, uh, keep an eye out. So yeah, uh, with that feeling, I go through one of the windows in the barracks and go through there. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so, just imagine Leona is somewhere there. Alright. Okay. I think I imagine it's loading, right? Mm -hmm. Um. Funny enough, it's fully loaded for me. Wow. So how about the rest of you? The four of you? Uh, the three of you? <coughs> it's loaded for me. It's loaded. Okay, Chen Chen, is it loaded for you? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Wait, map loading lah, but I see the tokens. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yep, so let's... it's loading. Alright, loaded. <coughs> so, I'm gonna put uh, Leona here. Mm -hmm. And Camille here because this is a rooftop. Uh, if you want to move, you imagine this is uh, the rooftop. And the two of you that is there, the guards are already forming a line. And there is a crowd of angry townsfolk <coughs> with one of the acolytes seems to be talking trash. Behind them, talking about the uh, the injustices that was being uh, befell on okay, them. I'm getting pissed. Let's go. Yes. All this. Um, Imagine they even took, they even clobbered one of our acolytes. Uh, we found them in front of the dorms, face first in the dirt. How I told you so. Mm. Yona, why are you moving? <laughs> oh, sorry. Cannot. Eh? Uh, Scripted. Eh? Alright, okay, cool. <laughs> Alright. So, this is what you see. Okay, and everybody, please roll initiative. 
All right. Uh, click on tokens and then click on initiative. Okay. Wow. At 20. 20. Wee wee. Fly the hell. Oh, net 20. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Initiative. Let's, so, Leona is 23. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Leona is 23. Chen Chen is 21. Um, Chen Chen is 21. Okay. Twenty-three, thirteen, twenty-one, and fifteen. 15. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Let's have this. Mob. 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 What's the mob? Oh, mobs get eleven. Ooh, I cannot see that. That is really bad color. 15. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. So, this is the turn order for everybody. Mm -hmm. Are we ready to... Cause trouble. To start? Yes. <clears throat> trouble, uh... trouble. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do one for the guys also. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, not bad. 19. Nice. Okay, the guard will act in as one unit, even though there's five of them. <coughs> Yay, simple. Yeah, it's easier, simpler. Kalau tak, hui, banyak orang nak kena control. <laughs> 13, all right. All right. So, Leona. I'll hit you. Sorry, no. Okay. Um, uh, you yeah, are on I'll... top of the roof. You are not free to move so well. Oh, I'm on top of the roof? I thought I didn't make it. Oh, yeah, you didn't make it. Sorry. All right. So, um, I hit here. And uh, as a bonus section, can I just jump in? That's movement, right? Yeah, but uh, can I? Or if I, I can't, it's okay. No. All right, no. So, let's see. Uh, is the door ever? No, can't. So, yeah, this is a max for me. Uh yeah, I'll hold my position here. All right. I don't know. Um, let's see. Uh, give me a second to see what I have in my inventory. <clears throat> Do I have? Uh, let's see. All right. Um, as all this, all of this is going on, I cut a bit of my bit roll like a piece a few pieces of bit roll and um strip it to pieces of um scrap paper sorry not scrap paper scrap cloth okay and that's about it like i do five strips oh, okay all right are there any fires around well from what you can see, the mob are the one who's welding the torches. Oh, they're not throwing anything yet? Nothing's burning? Uh, not... They have not been throwing anything yet. Alright. That's, that's, that's in my turn. Alright. Mm. So. Chen Chen. Okay. Not perception Okay, job. Not perception. That's why I want to clarify with Carl something. You know what? I'm gonna move like how much? Thirty. Uh, if thirty will be here. Oh, no. what happened? Oh, okay. I'm gonna move. Why can can I not click on my token? Uh, okay. I don't see a token though. Oh, yeah. There, there he is. is. There 
It's oh. underneath me. Mm. Underneath, it's next to you. Oh, underneath, yes, that is true. The TP is... Somewhere. It okay. should be here, like 30. Okay. So... I'm gonna move here. And just stay there at the moment. There's not much we can do, actually. Because so yeah. far away. True, true. Alright, is that it? That's it, at the moment. Okay. So the guards are trying to... Just... Uh, trying to appease the crowd. They're just uh, standing their ground and just waiting. Okay, call. It's my turn? Yes. Okay, wait a second. I... Running... Running is... Uh, full move is 60, right? Uh, if you're dashing. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, if I dash forward, ah, that's it. Okay, is that it? Yep, that's it. All right, acolytes. Okay. Oh. Yeah. This turn. The acolyte seems to be inciting the crowd more and more. Okay. Trying to incite them into a frenzy. And they seem to be more angrier. And from the sound of it, if it is not stopped, more people will start joining into this Undress. Mm, okay. <clears throat> okay. And the acolyte will just end his turn after inside thing. Camille. You can move right. up to here. Yeah, you can move up to here. Like that. And then jump. Up to where? Yeah. You, you imagine yourself on top of the the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine this building are all you are on top of the roof of this building. Okay, I move up to there. Where? Come again. Towards the end of this building? <coughs> all right. Yep, I move. Uh, so you want to attempt to jump? Wait, uh, I thought on that's the... already 30. Alright. Attempt to jump. Attempt to jump. Uh, agility uh, then. Isn't that 30 already? Oh, yeah, yeah, 30. So, you cannot move anymore. Sorry. <laughs> ha. Ha. See, baik. You, mm. you attempt to, but then again, ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> lucky, lucky for you. <laughs> next turn, next turn. You, you thought to yourself. <laughs> All right? Uh, do I still have an action or was that everything? <laughs> That's the, you action. still have an action. Bonus action, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. So, this is what I do. What are you gonna Since do? nobody is seeing me, I cast a disguise self and I disguise myself as this. Uh, imagine this cool black hooded guy with some red lines. Yeah. Oh, you mean Shadow? <laughs> okay. Long cape and black hood like the Nightingale from Skyrim with some red lines to the motif. Yeah, okay. I disguise. All right. Okay. Uh, fine, <laughs> you you have a cool disguise like Skyrim. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Vengeance, I am... No, no, no. It's <laughs> different, different black hooded guy. <laughs> Red shadow appears. Alright. And that's it, right? Mm. Yellow. Okay. The mob is moving. They are they incited already. They started rushing. Was the guy? That was fast. Yeah, this asshole did the whole job. Yeah, it was fast. Okay. 
I need to open up something. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Cool. Okay. We, because of the rush and also the the ferocity of the attack. Uh, sorry. Um, did they crit an attacking? Yes. Um, as I see this, I cast cutting words. Okay. The okay. first the first attack uh did not hit any one of the guards. The guards all managed to repel that. So what what does cutting words do? Uh, cutting words uh does. Uh, level three, blah blah blah. You can choose to use this feature. Uh, say, uh within sixty feet. Uh, you can the twenty six minus the bardic <laughs> roll. <clears throat> can I? Can you minus the crit? Uh, I I can just minus the crit. Yeah, I can do that. You can just. Can minus it nullify? No. Yeah, can can it nullify the crit? No, like their AC is not going to pass like 26 is already high. I can minus only what, 4? So like just go under crit. Mm. Oh. Or the, you can minus the damage. Uh. Okay, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. One thing about that requires you to, for them to hear you. But this is a crowd that is making their own noise. It's a thin... They are incited. They are talking over each other. They are shouting. They don't seem to be affected by your cutting word. Ah, okay. Then I'll make them. I'll make them later on. Okay. Right. Anyway, they managed to break through to one of the guards and trample him. They just pummel him into bits. They, when that poor guard is on the ground, one of them grab him by his legs and pull it into the crowd. Oh no! So they, 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 they seem to be piling up on him. They seem to be beating him with fists, rocks, or whatever things that they have in hand. Pitchfork. Oh no! He was three uh, days bat. away from retirement. All right. So. That is the mob. That's the end of round one. All, All right. All right. Leona, back to you. I'll go here. And I will um, open my bottle of flask and put in the cloth I just made and okay. create a makeshift weapon, a lot of cocktail. All right. Light it up and throw it here. All right. Uh, Molotov of cocktail. What is this? Uh, the thing is, uh, da, 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 da. uh, I can, uh, that's at a point. I can throw it at sixty feet away, and uh -huh. each creature within the twenty foot exploding area must make a DC, uh, twelve deck save, or take one D eight fire damage. If successful, they take half of that. So, uh, save uh, DC 12, right? Yeah, DC 12 on Dexterity. Okay, fail. So, yay, I throw one. Yeah, this would be 20. So, all of them got hit. Okay. <clears throat> you threw the Molotov cocktail into the, the throng, the mob. So, how much damage? Uh, 1d8. Uh, okay. one eight. So I have to roll the eight, or yeah, I have to roll the eight. You roll the eight. Okay, give me a second. Uh, dice the eight one. Rolling dice. Ah, <laughs> two, two points of damage. All right. Uh, each. Okay, so yay. Okay. Um. Uh, some of them got hit, got scalded. They were burning. One of the hair was singed. Uh, one of the lady inside there was. Ah, the hit scarf was, was, was on fire. Sorry. Um, he has to take it off. Give me a second. Um, I remember I need to add one more uh, source of damage. 
Uh, that would be uh, sneak attack. Oh, okay. That would be another additional one uh, d six. Sneak attack. You need sneak attack. You don't hit. Do you need to be in stealth? Uh, no, as long as the target I'm facing is five feet, uh, in front of another ally. Oh, okay, sure, sure. Okay, oh yeah. So, so one d six. All right. One d six. Three. <laughs> Total. Three okay. Damage. No worries. Yeah. We'll take it. Okay. So. Minus another one. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, as my bonus action, uh, what do I have for bonus action? I don't remember. Uh. You should have the cunning action. Or is it level two? Cunning action for what? Rogue or bard? For rogue. Nope. Uh yeah. Uh, if that's the okay. case, I'll just spend another. Uh, wait. This is uh, I spend my points to go in. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, that's it for me. All right. So, Leona. Then, Chen Chen. Yep. You have seen oh, what Leona yeah. has done and you can see that the uh, the, the mob is, is an angry mob. It's a crowd. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna cast... Fight Growth. Ooh, Fight Growth. Swing, cast one action. Ooh, hundred, reach hundred fifty. DC fourteen. Yeah, oh, no. oh, by the oh, way, oh, uh, the radius is twenty foot radius. Mm -hmm. Enough for this. Okay. okay. So the the center would be around then from here to here. Okay. Like so. Yep. That's a quite large area. Okay, it's quite like that. Yep. So let me try to move it. Is is it around this? The center yeah. would be somewhere here. Oh, okay. Twenty, yeah. so which is mm. going to be twenty, yeah. Yeah, should be, I think. Yeah, about that. Mm. Oh, GM. By oh, the way, okay. uh, I'm still inside. This is just for me to take a look, see for okay. the audience at home. Okay. Okay, about that. That's a radius, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Spike crows, ground only, uh, sprout hard spikes and thorns. It takes 2d4 piercing damage for every feet it travels. Okay. And the acolyte seems to be inside there. Mm -hmm. And from the earth, even the hard packed earth of the street, the you can see sp the tendrils of spikes. Uh, Sprouting from the ground and damaging whatever it is uh, standing on, being stood on. So you must make a wisdom perception check against your spell. So the crowd has to do a save, right? DC yes. 14 DC on 14. wisdom? Hmm. Wait, what's it? Wisdom perception? Wisdom perception, yeah. Wisdom perception. Yep, they succeeded. So half damage, right? Half damage. Oh, the yeah. damage is how many? Uh, uh, two d four. Uh, can you roll two d four? Four. Okay. Oh, uh, it's actually not half damage, lah. It's just they roll perception to see the spikes. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Not gonna go for the. Which means they, they, ni lah. They tak kena damage pun kan? When a creature moves into or, no, 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 into or within the yeah. area, it takes 2d4 for every 5 feet it travels. Any creature that can't see the area at the time of spell must make a wisdom perception check. Uh, no, technically, what would happen right now is that they it's already... it, the ground is spiked and they don't get damage. But once they move, they oh, yeah. will take the damage. Okay, yep. The spike is stationary, so they don't. In order to avoid damage, they cannot move. Why? Why? Hmm. That's pretty strong. 
Mm. One cannot do damage. No. Uh, uh, two d four. Yeah, but it it doesn't happen now. Oh yeah. No. Um, oh. I have to do the save for the acolyte also. Mm hmm. <laughs> nope. No. Yep. He noticed okay. it. He Safe. noticed it. Is yep. it the wisdom perception? Oh yeah. wow, wisdom eighteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but he he noticed it. But here's the thing. Um, even though he noticed it, if he has to move, he'll still take the damage. Yes, if he has to move, unless he <clears throat> remain immobile, lah. Mm. So now right? they either move or don't move. Mm. He can just shout bloody hell, <laughs> something like that. All right. All right, I think I uh, I am my ten. All right, sure. Chen has has come up with a uh, a way to immobilize if they choose to. Mm -hmm. Okay. The guard will start attacking melee weapon. Oh. Uh, either melee and also rage weapon, whichever is at whatever oh, is at their disposal. Shit. Eleven, who nine? Fail, and lost one of the spear. His spike is lost, so he has two more. This oh, person no. got. Ooh, okay. Then he managed to gouge one of the mob in the eye and managed to kill one of the person inside the mob. Uh, is flame spread to cover ten foot radius. And this one failed to do anything. All right, Carl, it's your turn. Uh, Carl, are you there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, yeah. Give me a second, ah. Uh. I need to think, think of a strategy for... Oh, this is annoying. Uh, I'm gonna stand on top of the cart. Is it okay? Yeah. I'm gonna hex, hex this guy. Ooh. And I'm gonna fire... I'm gonna make him uh, have... Uh, any, he's, he's gonna have disadvantage on wisdom saving throw. Disadvantage on saving throw, okay. Wait, 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 no, no, no. That's, that's is it? Does that affect perception check, right? Wait, let me check first, huh? Is it perception or is it? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Radius, radius, air become difficult, going for the way, but if you can move into it, takes the serve, Yeah, wisdom ability checks should be. Wisdom check, but it's not serving throw, so it doesn't work. Huh? I mean, the perception is an ability check, actually, by right. So if he has a disadvantage of wisdom saving throw, would it affect the perception check? And a hex never affects saving throw and read your hex. Hex affects saving throw. You can choose. Uh, just and put it up and we can read it. Hex! Okay. Spell description of the hex. Spell yeah, hex. It's loading. But the thing always loads the hex. So. You place a curse until the spell you don't necrotic damage. Every disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability. Yeah, so it should, it should, right? Has disadvantage of ability checks, okay. Yeah. Click on ability yeah, checks. Yeah. How do I share this? No, that's ability, that's a skill. No, it's not the saving throw. No? You place a curse on a creature that you can see within range. Until I end used to war spell, <laughs> yep. you deal it's not, it's not saving throw. extra not saving one throw, right? no, damage not. to the target. But, but, uh, uh, wisdom uh, ability is perception law. That's, mm. then, that's wisdom ability, that's not a saving throw, right? If the target drops down to zero. Yeah. Okay, if you look at the character sheet, the ability is, is there. <clears throat> Place a curse on it. No, I mean, I mean the... the wait, give me a second. Eh? Also, choose one. The ability, ability uh, the skills, uh, and not the, the saving okay. throw. Saving throw is innate. On a mm. ability checks made with the chosen abilities. Okay. 
Okay, never mind. Alright. So it's not serving throw. Okay, never mind. If uh, that's the case, then I will just make it so that I can transfer the hex around. Uh. So you are hexing him? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hex. Yeah, if you kill the leader, usually they'll disperse. Mm, now he cannot see. Nice. Really? He's blinded? No. <laughs> yes. uh, disadvantage lah. Uh -huh. No, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna switch it so that I can move it around. Just. Yeah. Alright. So, is that all? Anything else yeah. that you were doing? I'm gonna fight Irish Flash, but I need to wait for him to load. You are, you are going to cast Eldritch Blast? Eldritch Blast would be a cantrip. On? On the mm. Boom! 120 Boom. feet. Uh, that reach? The, yep. The 10, the 2, so plus 3. It's supposed to have agonizing blast, I'm not sure why it's not written there. But yeah. So basically it gets 2 damage, five, 2 force damage, five, five. including Wait, the hex. Two, uh, Five. Hey, blue plus four, six. Extra one d six damage. And then another d six damage. Yeah. Yes. So it's six damage plus three. Yeah, one d yeah. six. So you need to roll a one d six. Oh, oh six. Pff, nice. Oh. Twelve damage. Wow. So Power. how many? Do yeah, Eldritch plus plus seven. So it's what? Okay, so it's two. Two, two plus, plus four because I have charisma charisma modifier of, of uh, agonizing blast. So it's six. So plus the uh, hex is plus another d6, so it's 12 total. Okay, Eldritch plus. In so total 12. Head. Total 12. Because I on, have ag agonizing blast. Uh, but it's on the, on the acolyte. Mm. Okay, Eldritch blast, and you got agonizing blast. Hadouken. Okay. Hadouken. So the blast hit him from afar. He only saw somebody just jump onto the wagon and encountered something that the last thing that he sees ever is the the blast that hits him square in the face, screaming in agony. Oh, he's dead. He, he's dead. How much? How high is his HP? Twelve points. Friendly. Okay. All right. And so, is that it, Carl? That, that's it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's All it. right, Camille. Do you jump? All right, you, wait you, you, you I are, move. Uh, you, are, uh, you are disguised. You have to do an acrobatic check to move on to the next. Ooh. You Hiya. manage to pass. Yeah. High dexterity and high acrobatics. You manage to jump onto the next, the roof of the next building. You can move up to here. Da, 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 da. Run, ninja. Ninja style. Okay, about that. Now you can see from on top of the roof, the crowd is still pummeling the guards. The guards are really trying to to hold the line and not lose the the battle because they know what has happened to one of their colleagues and they want blood they want revenge ah ah very fire okay one, oh two, advantage three. so they need light to do a dc safe deck seven pro yeah. deck seven pro. Mm -hmm. light up the crowd not the guards make the green deck seven pro Oh, fail. They are all lighted. It's a hot crowd. Yes, it's... If it's night, it looks like a rave party. Yay! Mm -hmm. Okay, I done. Okay, now against it, it is now... The crowd's turn. R yeah. Alright, so that's it. Camille did his sniping with a rave party spell. <laughs> the mob. <laughs> they will start attacking again. Oh no. No. That's an angry mob. Yes, it is an angry mob. I don't have if any you... toolkit to disarm them. 
if you also read the magic cards, there is an angry mob in the dark set mm -hmm. once upon a time. And as Magic Player says, if there's no uh, spot removal, there's always player removal. <laughs> yeah, but I, but I killed the player. The monster is the... Oh yeah, so like, if there's no uh, player, there's no target removal, there's player removal. <laughs> Alright. So, whatever thing that they have in hand, they just a wooden bolt, a uh, wooden uh, stick, uh, chunkul, uh, peach fox, they just mowed down this poor guy. Oh no, wait, uh, what was the hit again? 19. 19. Damn, that's too high. Oh wow, wow, we can get one shot by this one. And they focus on the three remaining guards. Uh, what's the Ooh. guards, the AC? Oh no, I can't use cutting words too loud. So, this guard also is got also mowed down. Okay. Mm hmm. Holy cow, that's bad. It's an angry mob. Holy shit, the guards are very squishy. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. Now. Hold on. Now, let me do something here. Uh, let me do... Okay. 2d4. Sorry, uh, d4. 2. Yes. Okay. Oh! 6 o'clock, guys! The clock? Okay. No lie, it's the spike growth damage. No, I uh, mean 6 o'clock, hour 6. I think. Hour 6? What happened? What happens on hour 6? Your 6, ah. Uh, uh, okay. I cannot see yet. I can't see as well. Alright. Now, Leona. Leona mm. can see something from afar. Which is quite interesting. For her. Alright. Now, Leona, mm. your turn. That's 9 o'clock, right? Uh, you know, we are facing the guards in front. That should be our 6, but... Hey, whatever lah. <laughs> what happened at 9 o'clock? <laughs> you trying to do a Indiana Jones joke ah? <laughs> what happens at 11 uh, o'clock? <laughs> God. Um, before I do anything, I want to do a perception roll and see who the fuck that guy is. Please do a perception roll. Which of us? No, uh, Leona. Oh. 15. All right. All right, 15. Seems to be a knight that has the emblem of the Esther. Esther. That's ours. Okay, okay. Um seeing that he's there, I don't want to cause much more shit. So I'll cast sleep on the crowd. Alright. Let's sleep. At level one, yeah, let's go. And so total roll of thirty one, and I'll aim it around here. Wait, that is if I know it's taken slip is twenty foot, right? Uh, range ninety, and then twenty foot. So yeah, around the same circle as this one. This is part of a charm spell, right? For sleep. Mm. Is it? Well, if if the creature is immune to charm, la. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That if they're immune to charm. Doesn't seem to affect them at all. Even if somebody seems to be dozing off, the the. The guy or the person behind them just sort of uh, jolted them awake as oh, a unit. Okay. Ah, oh, man. <clears throat> okay, that wasted my action there. Where's Fireball when you need it? Okay, so... Mm, I'm going to use my movements. So, give me a second. There would be suicidal...
Okay, um, I'm going to get back in. Okay. Whoop. Get back in. Yep. And that's that is mine and my turn. All right. Chen Chen. You are seeing the guards being mowed down one by one by the angry crowd, the angry mob. Do I realize the person behind me? Uh. Yes. You notice a person behind you. He seems to be wearing the same armor as Lord Jonathan, the Marshal Jonathan, part of that contingent. And he seems to be attentive at the crowd. Not at you. No. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. So some switch over. Century. Nothing else can. Wait. Okay, wait. Some emotion. Ting, 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 ting. Okay, can I use this? Calm emotions. Calm emotion. Oh, you can try. In a group of people, okay. Oh, charisma saving throw. Oh, nice. It's humanoid, so that's cool. So this is uh let's see calm emotions. But this is also a charm spell, right? Is it a charm? Uh let's see this ends okay, uh each oh and and man, yeah. Charm or frightened, yeah. So I guess we get here. Oh, it just about it reach. doesn't say. Uh, you attempt to so, suppress strong emotions yeah. in a group of people, each humanoid in the twenty foot radius sphere, centered on a point you choose within range, makes a charisma saving throw. A creature can choose to, uh, sorry, a creature can choose to fail this saving throw if it wishes. If oh, a creature fails its saving throw, you choose on one of the following two effects. You can suppress any effect causing a trigger to be charm or frightened. Uh, you can suppress any effect charm or frightened. Uh, when this spell ends, your uh, any suppress effect resumes, provided that the duration has not expired in the meantime. Alternatively, you can tar make a target indifferent, indifferent about a creature of your choice that is hostile towards uh, mm. the indifference ends blah 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 but no it doesn't say charm yeah but remember eh, it only have uh, causing target to be okay you suppress any effect causing a target to be charm or frightened all right that's the word yeah or or you can make a target indifferent about creatures of your choice eh? mm -hmm. but at the same time like it suppress the charm or frighten so basically, if their charm, um, Camille's sorry, not Camille, uh, Chen Chen's effect does nullify it for a bit. Mm. Mm, true, true. So, do you cast it? Um, yeah, I can cast it. Yeah, okay. All right. You cast it on the crowd. <clears throat> you okay? What are you trying to suppress? Charm of Biden. Hmm? Charm of Biden. Yes, that's oh. only, remember. Eh? Any effect okay. causing a target to be charmed or frightened? No, no, you suppress any effect. Yeah, yeah, I mean. So, oh. do you suppress charm or frightened? This mob is not neither frightened nor charm. You can just make them indifferent to attacking the mob, uh, the guards. Like, oh, okay. Uh, hmm. we, we want equality. Yeah. We want equality. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do you want to do that? Uh, yeah, I, I, I want to suppress their... It's because it's supposed to be like... Make them emotion, indifferent. Right? Yeah, make so them indifferent with the situation right now. Indifferent, indifferent to yeah. the guard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, DC 12. Okay. Yeah, I thought we 14. Uh, it's it's guards and us as well. Guards and us. Guards and us. No, that's it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> DC spell DC. Ah, What's the DC yeah. again? Okay. Ah, stop attacking the guards. They are one of us. They are one. These people there. Those are the oppressors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and they just left the guard alone and started moving. Let's see. Okay. As they move, uh, the spike. Took effect, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, for the, every five spell ends. feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry. and the spell ends. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so, 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 growth. Okay. Oh, they move DC, here. DC fourteen. Yeah. No, no, they, they don't. They don't do a check. Well, Automate. well, to be oh, to, to be to really lah. by the book, uh, the spike growth ends because overlapping concentration. Oh yeah. Ah, okay. Oh okay. yeah. So spike spike growth ends. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. So, 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 so no spike. So overlapping concentration. So no spikes. The article, the thing ended. Okay. Uh, they don't see Leona because Leona is inside. But the closest. Who are the closest? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Wait. Because of, they just uh, are indifferent to the guard, the guard also has a uh, bonus attack. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, so the guard said. <laughs> Because they move, they pass by them. They have a, a attack opportunity. <laughs> yes, attack opportunity. Shit, oh, then it's not end. That's when guards get. Huh? Okay. No attack opportunity. They, they just. No, oh, because attack of hit is the hit. No, because yeah, it not ends ends when you get attacked, right? So the moment that they they move past the guards, <laughs> then they cut. Right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. yeah. Wait, they are not one of us. They are just attacking also. Bloody hell. Attack at the back. Uh, mm, okay, yeah. yeah. man. At least we're not getting targeted. I mean, we will die. I hate what you saw. <laughs> oh, man. So, Chen Chen, you end your turn, right? Uh, yep. Okay. Oh, boy. Night is just watching and ready himself for a fight. He did, he just stood in front of you. Weapons at the ready, resolute. And he's also yeah. looking at things to at the ready. Direction after a short or long rest for up for one minute, the knight can utter a special command or warning whenever a non-hostile creature that it can see within thirty foot of it makes an attack roll or saving throw. The creature can add a d4 to its roll provided it can hear or and understand the knight. And creatures can be yeah, actually creatures can benefit from only one leadership die at a time. This effect ends if the knight is incapacitated. Oh. He shouted at call. Oh, me? He shouted uh, some strategy on how to manage the crowd, crowd, crowd control or try to avoid the crushing crowd at any, at any way. Okay. And he, okay, at the ready, anything that, that comes into his path, he will mow it down. So, Carl, it's your turn. Uh, the mobs are angry. Oh. <laughs> oh. I move the hex to them. No one can, can trust. That's no one hex. to trust. So, wait. Uh, yeah. Didn't when the uh, the cleric died, didn't the hex automatically move to the uh, mob? Nope. 
I, I have to move it myself. Ah, oh, okay. I have to use my bonus action to move it. Mm, okay. So, yeah. All right, so you use your bonus action to move the hex. Hex. And Eldritch Blast. So, 12. Did it hit? Hadouken. Two. Yes, it's very hard not to hit a, a throng of crowd. You hit something in the crowd. <laughs> so these uh ten so it's ten damage plus a D six. So okay, ten Two damage plus, plus twelve. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. And I'm gonna run down. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. By now, the, 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 the size of the crowd has thinned to almost, almost half. Almost Agonizing half. Agonizing blast. How much, <gasps> how many were they to begin with? A lot, actually. Oh. Quite a lot. It's an angry mob. <laughs> you see the, the crowd, right? The, the picture. It's quite an angry mob. Oh. Okay. Alright. Carl has made his, uh, his move. Now, Camille, you are there. You can see them. That's right. Mm. Well, since Carl started it, uh, I'll just follow and shoot lah. Wait, what happened to your fiery, uh, fire, fire, fires? It, it's still up. Everyone has advantage. Happy oh. shooting. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Yep. So they're lit up. Yes. It's oh, lit. So, uh, 17. Pew pew, hand crossbow. 5 damage. And then I'll just look around and for cover or something. You see one or two bodies from, from the throng of crowd, from the mob, uh, drop as soon as you discharge your hand crossbow. Double. Now it, yes, now it's a bit... Uh, Thin. The crowd is thin, but still angry. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Okay. Yeah, I take I take cover wherever I can, and yeah. You're above cool. the roof. <laughs> You're on the roof. The crowd uh can try to do range weapon attack on you. I can crouch down. I guess I have okay. the higher ground. You need All to right. be prone. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about I have the high ground. <laughs> So, the mob is angry now at the, the guard that, that uh. pukul belakang. Mm -hmm. They started throwing, throw, throwing stones at them. Ooh. Stuck with rocks. Okay. Uh, 2d6. Plus seven. Two D six piercing damage is plus. Alright. Two D six then. Oh ten. Plus seven. Seventeen. Ay, tahu. There's a lot of stones going into their way at one go. And seeing the the gut uh, fell. They did it again. 2d6. At the other gut. Wait, didn't they have to attack? Uh, make an attack roll? Yes, it is a, the attack. Fuck, 23. Yes. God damn. Ooh. Stones hit the, the head. Bloodied. But still standing gut. Try to valiantly uh, defend himself. But still standing. Said like that. Okay. Now, this is next round. Okay. Mm oh no. Okay. Let's see, it's my turn now, eh? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me do an initiative check. Mm -hmm. Eight. Wait, what? There's another Eight. Night? Okay. Oh, no. Okay, Leona, your turn. All right. Um, 
with me being in the house and I can see the mob, uh, I'll throw a Molotov cocktail at them again. Okay. Die, death to Putin. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> let's see. The crowd, the crowd was chanting something. Uh, okay. Uh, I throw the cocktail again, and then okay. it explodes in a twenty-foot radius. Uh, and then they have to make a DC safe, uh, uh DC twelve dexterity saving throw, or take one d eight fire damage. All right, Molotov uh, sounds Russian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So DC save. DC save. Um, DC save. Let's see. Okay. Fail. Ah. One D eight. A one. Then plus the. <laughs> Uh, plus the sneak attack, because I have okay. advantage on attacking them. Yes. Pfft, two. Okay. Uh, here's the other part of the Molotov I forgot to read. Uh, after the Molotov cocktail is thrown, its flame spreads to cover a 10-foot radius of the target mm -hmm. for 1d4 rounds, uh, lighting any flammable object within its area a flame. Creatures that begin uh, beginning their turn with in this area must make a DC-12 constitution saving throw or be set on fire, taking one D8 damage. Okay, fire. saving throw. So, DC-10, right? No, no, after, uh, starting off their round. So I need to roll okay. a D4 to see how many rounds the um, flames okay. linger. All right. This time uh, around, you, you notice there's more torches inside the crowd. Damn. Just it's not once. even torch. It is a it's a wooden bat. It's being turned <laughs> into a torch from the Molotov cocktail. Oh no! Uh, yeah, there's just one more extra round. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, one extra round. Okay. Good. Yeah. So it's lit. The crowd is lit literally from the the rave lights mm -hmm. and also the lights the from the torches and the Molotov. All right, okay. and then with that, I'll duck down. What is up with my attack rolls? God damn it! They're just ones. Yeah, and then I'll uh -huh. just move the turn. Chen Chen. Yep. Chen Chen. All right. Yes. All right. You see, you see the crowd looking around for their next. They just say, "Kill the beast! Kill the beast!" Uh, okay. Okay. That's to the oppressors. Ooh. <laughs> Word or radiance. Fine word. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Okay. So, so must yeah. Constitution saving throw. 14. DC 14, right? Yep. Alright. Stay my position. Wow. Shit. No, we don't believe in your false deities. <laughs> <laughs> Power to the people. Okay. Because of uh, okay, that's the oh the the card is eight. Oh god, oh I know how. Who is the next turn would be? The next turn would be this guy. Turn. Next turn would be this guy. Yeah, that, there are two guards. Oh, okay, because uh, because of him. Okay, because of can shoot right. So, ting 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 ting. Uh. You you notice the mm. knights are fully concentrating and looking at the crowd, and doesn't seem to be paying much attention to you. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I don't want to go to jail for murder. <laughs> <laughs> their body language seems to be at the ready and not threatening to you in your mind's oh. eye alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast as a bonus action mm -hmm. I'm going to cast the shield of faith to the guide in front of me 
Shield of Faith. All yes. right. Okay. Shimmery Field of... Okay. Granting plus two bonus to AC for the duration. All right. Shielded. Faith. Talk to the hand. <laughs> okay. Talk to it then. All right. That's it. That's it. That's for my turn. All right. Call. All right. What happened to this guy? He was 19. Eh. Yeah, eh. What happened to this? Oh, they're Okay, okay, anyway. Sorry, not Carl. Uh, this guy. Okay, this guy. Let me move him. Okay. Let me move him. Okay. Okay. Let me move him. 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 Let Okay, no worries. Uh, I'll sub him to, to that. Lah. I'll come back to him later. Okay. <laughs> I'll sub that first. Not to bog down the thing. Okay, no problem. Uh, okay. He's, he's too calm. <laughs> he has, okay, let's just say he, he has a shield of faith. Okay. Shield of faith terus terus dia, dia, dia terus tak boleh ni. <laughs> <laughs> tak boleh move. So wait, the shield why. of faith is not this one, but this guy? Yeah, tapi hilang tu semua. Hmm. I don't know what happened. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway. Let's just do this. Uh, oh, God, no. I see the knight. He is the knight. He is the dark knight. <laughs> Alamak. That's not going to be good. <sighs> All right. Ooh, crit. 7 plus 6 13. slashing damage. Uh, it's a crit, right? So it gets another double damage? Yes. Which is the plus 6. Oh, okay. Yeah, so 13. Mm, I, I'm glad we didn't fight them early on. The... He swings again his great sword. Ooh, double, double attack. attack. 11. Uh, does it hit? No, 20. Fairy fire. Oh, yeah. Advantage. Fairy fire. Oh, yeah. Okay. 20. Hits again. He he is really like cutting grass. He thins the crowd left and right. As he swings once to his left, you can see hits rolling. Oh no. And when he swings back to his right, another bunch of hits just uh flying around in all direction. And part of it is decapitation, half of the head. Uh, at the mouth, uh, oh, no. part of another ear or oh, something. No. He is really mowing the, the crowd down. Okay. Uh, the crowd is really oh, thinning. Yes, two attacks. Yeah, double attack. So that's a standard fighter then. Uh, so before he ends his move, can I shout to him to move 10 feet back? Well, you can try to shout to him. Yeah, that's what I'm going to uh, tell him to do. Like, uh, after he finishes uh, attacks, I'm just going to scream to him, uh, move 10 feet back. Trust me on this. He's just doing tactical tactical retreat. No, if he moves 10 yeah. feet back, then they'll get the attack opportunity. Right? So. Uh, kind of, yeah, true. But, uh, okay, no problem, no problem. Like, yeah, no problem. Okay, he will try to move. It's okay, let the knight decide. Okay, he moves, and this crowd has an attack, attack opportunity with improvised weapon, but few in numbers. Weaker? Stronger? Oh, Six. fuck. Stronger. 2d6. Bludgeoning damage. Ooh. 8 plus 6 plus. Okay. Also okay. It hits a bit. He just grunts, but managed to just shake it off. All right, and Carl, your turn. Uh oh, I just lost the shit out of that. Haruken. The size of the crowd advantage. is just a few of people. Uh, 
I think so. Yeah. Lewis, no dishbash. Ooh, 17. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Okay. So, so, 3 plus 4, 7 damage plus a d6. Okay. Nice. 12 damage. How many? 12 damage. 12 damage. By now, the, the crowd is only one person that is still standing and just a couple of people are crawling. <laughs> it looks really thinned out crowd. Alright. Camille, your turn. Alright, time to get uh, the last hit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Six damage. You, with that, you managed to totally suppress the crowd. Oh, yay. Dead. 